the Minutemen continued in their goals of responding to requests for help from nearby settlements that were being attacked, lending their aid towards its defense. The overall faction was historically led by a general and individual contingents led by a colonel. The last Minutemen general, Joe Becker, died in 2282, but who should serve as successor was never agreed upon. After General Becker's death, rivalries between different groups began to cause infighting and disorganization. Some members left the group entirely, such as James Wire and Ronnie Shaw. The loss of stable leadership and internal squabbles began to erode the efficacy of the group, but the efforts of the Minutemen to respond to defense requests persisted. One such request was from the citizens of Quincy, who were being attacked by a mercenary group known as the Gunners. One group of Minutemen responded to Quincy's request, under the command of Colonel Ezra Hollis. Preston Garvey, a Minuteman member since the age of 17, was in this group and assisted with the efforts to barricade the town against future attacks. Hollis knew that they didn't have the numbers to hold the town against subsequent attacks, but repetitive requests for reinforcements from other Minutemen groups went unanswered. Shortly thereafter, Clint, a 10-year veteran of the Minutemen, arrived in Quincy not to provide reinforcements, but having defected to the gunner side. Hollis refused to stand down and the gunners attacked in force, taking the high ground on the overpass. Despite their best efforts, the Minutemen could not defend against the gunners' superior numbers and position. Colonel Hollis was captured alive, standing by Minutemen principles until the end, executed by Clint. The rest of the inhabitants were killed with the exception of a few who fled with Garvey, who took over after Hollis' death. From Quincy, the small contingent that survived the massacre headed to Jamaica Plains, and then Lexington to find shelter. Unable to settle there due to feral ghouls, they attempted to settle in Concord. By the time the group reaches that destination, Preston believes he is the last member of the Minutemen alive, dedicated to protecting the surviving group of civilians. Word of the Minutemen's inability to protect Quincy spread across the Commonwealth, where settlers will make disparaging remarks about the group and event. 